this video is to give you a little bit of an insight about how science will work at key stage four. So first of all, it's really important to be aware that science is not a subject that you can opt out of. OK, that means that all learners will study biology, chemistry and physics at key stage four. There are, however, two pathways that learners can follow. The first pathway is combined science trilogy, which is the pathway that most learners will take in school. There is, however, also an option to opt for separate sciences which I'll talk you through in a little bit more detail in a moment. It is worth noting that most learners take the combined science course and the separate sciences is an option, but by invitation only. So if your child is eligible to take that option, you will receive a letter to confirm that. So combined science is the main pathway that all learners take. That's comprised of biology units, chemistry and physics. So there are seven biology units, 10 chemistry and seven physics units. They are assessed at the end with two terminal examination papers, two for biology, two for chemistry and two for physics, all of which are an hour and 15 minutes long. The results of those are combined together to give an average score and that average score will be used to generate two grades and learners will be awarded two GCSEs in science. If your child is being given the option of opting for separate sciences, it follows a similar pathway but with a few little differences. So first of all, there is extra content, and that is the reason for it being an option subject. It will require extra time to cover that, option, that additional content. So there is more content in all of the units. There's an extra unit in the physics, but then there's additional content throughout all of the other units in biology, chemistry and physics as well. They are all still assessed as two terminal examination papers, so you'll still have two biology, two chemistry and two physics papers. But because of the additional content, those exam papers will be longer. So instead of the hour and 15 minutes, it will be an hour and 45 for each paper to enable them to assess the additional content. Because they have the additional content and the additional assessment, they will get three GCSEs from separate sciences. So they, instead of getting two combined GCSEs in science, they will get one GCSE in biology, one in chemistry and one in physics. So a total of three science GCSEs.